what's up youtube welcome to this last part of our application so in this video we will connect the back end part with the front end part for this we have to import the back end part import what's the file name store back now first of all let's create a function in this function what we want to do is we want the backend part of the file in the front end file so how can we do that for that we have to create a command let's say do cmd you can name any but i want it like this and the first what we have to do is we want anything which is present before it for that Oops, D L E delete. What you have to do is zero to end, and after that we have to create a for loop for i n store back dot view. And we have to do is list box, and here we have to do list box also. Sorry for this missing understanding this box dot insert what we have inserted and to i let's run the front end file now python store dot py let's check it out if you click on view all okay we are not getting anything The one more thing is that in the button part you have to create a command to this function which we have created the name is view command and if I run the file again copy it hope it will run fine view all okay lost the connection it's nothing let's delete your terminal and run it again view all still got an error okay guys the error which we are getting is because my Wi-Fi is stopped let's connect it out again okay the connection has been established let's run the file again you all still an error i am frustrated <laughs> okay guys i got the error what you have to do is in all your function you have to establish this connection again for that simply copy this line uh, which we have which is here copy put this in insert also what the hell do the same for all the functions okay everything is fine now let's run the file view all okay we are getting the things when we print a view okay it's time to develop the another part which is a search command cmd for search command first we will delete the list dot delete zero to end now one more thing is that before doing so we have to pass here four parameters a b d save it and let's create a for loop for i in store back dot search we have to pass here for values the value of this 81 82 83 84 let's just pass this before that let me just create a command command equals to 
search command now we want to get the user input here that's why we will do et1 dot get comma just copy it one two three et2 what the hell you have to remove this et2 et3 et4 uh, after that you have to print the values print list dot insert and to i save it let's check the python store dot py let's search for it let's check the view all seven the ISBN seven fifty. Okay, we are getting the book with the ISBN number seven eighty. So it's running fine. Let's create another command. Now let's create another function. In short, command and uh, for this, uh, it is very simple. From this backend dot view, and uh, here simply copy this above line and uh, paste here, and in the next line we delete the delete a zero to end. And in the last step, we will insert a list box dot insert and the same and to these all values. Done. Save it. Run it. Why? Let's uh, what we need to do is uh, add new. Let's say book author. Let's say luck twenty twenty. ISB number this. Add new. Let's view all. Okay. Let's run the file again. you all the book has not been added I know why <laughs> because we have not put the command here command equals to what's the command name insert command insert command save it run the file again Let's say Draghi Rana twenty twenty ISBN. Let's say that you we got an error. Okay, guys, we have to put here insert command. Sorry for my mistake. If I run this again, add a book. Uh, uh, and add new we got the book here you can see here so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will discuss some other thing also two more functions are there so thank you we'll meet you in the next tutorial